Hey, you two, it's your boy Domination. I'm back again. That's the only place, 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 Good place gonna get it. It's right back in the basic chuck of the deuces. How we do it, Texas baby. Man, I that was back. You know what it is. No, 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 it is. Real men rise up. Fake men rise down. Real women rise up. Fake women rise down. Prep to where I preach and preach on. I'm y'all's domination. It's back in the basic. And today's topic we're gonna talk about is. I gotta show you a clip of this video. Remember, I was talking about there's a lot of gay agenda going on, and not only in in Hollywood but in Black Hollywood. Why is it that I understand that people just getting, black men just getting paid just wearing dresses. But why is that? Why uh, no other race of men wearing dresses? Even though white guys would first done it before brothers do it. All the greats that done it. Remember David Chappelle and he was on, on Oprah's show? People thought he was delusional and deranged, raging a, 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 a lunatic. They thought he was crazy. But David Chappelle know what he's talking about. Even though... My my sister trying to say if he's on drugs, that's on him. But I don't think it's not because David Chappelle knew what he was saying. But why is it that every man had to put on a dress at some point? If you don't believe me, here's here's a close up of this video. It explains why this whole gay agenda is going on, and it's part of the gay agenda to push the to feminize the black men and over sexualize them. If he can't do that, he'd be seen as 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 as, as kind of obvious to further of being a threat in this nation. If you don't believe me, look at this video full clip, and it explains why the things is 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 lead to what it is, what's going on. Here's a video, all right? Here's a bit, of it, and the brother will explain to you why it's like that. Here it is. His name is Bobby or some. I forgot his last name, but here here it is. The summer of 2003 at a place called a Brown Chocolate Cafe. I said, I remember the lecture. He said, remember we invited all the rappers. And they was coming to the lecture because he's good friends with all these rappers. RZA, um, I think Nas was coming and a bunch of them. Even Dougie Fresh. Right. And he said, they um, was coming, but somebody missed and put that the rappers were going to show up on the flyer. And he said, then, the, then, then they called and said, yo, we can't do this. We can't come now because, you know, our agents, you know, um, our agents, you know, they look out and they find out we, that they, they tell us that we can't go to certain events. Mm -hmm. So they put a dent in that since that conscious rap. And it's interesting here because I'm talking to a sister named Capita recently and she was saying that, yes, she, she was in the music industry and she said she know rap. She said not only that, they have to report in like parole officers. If they get a big contract. They got to report in like reporting into a parole officer and tell them what functions they go into and whether these whereabouts are suitable for the for the music industry or the company. So anyway, they didn't come. But they got the tape. He said that the, the, the tape that I gave them was about you speaking about how the rap, how the actors gotta wear the dress or get shot in the behind. Mm -hmm. He said and by Dave Chappelle being big friends with the with the whole rap scene, they gave the tape to Dave Chappelle. So when he said on Oprah about I heard about they have to do the dress, he said the, the brother Chappelle said it was based on the lecture that, that I had done in New York in two thousand and three. Mm -hmm. The thing about it here is not only do you have to wear the dress, Wayne Reigns had to wear the dress. Wesley um, Snipes had to wear the dress. Mm -hmm. Chris Chris Tucker wore a little flimsy feminine outfit on my
in the 1970s. Man, Geraldine. Uh, Geraldine in 1971 it was the whole Geraldine thing. So we got a history of this. Mm -hmm. The other thing he is is getting shot in the behind. So Denzel won the Academy Award because he got shot in the behind. And then after he got shot in the behind, they killed him. <laughs> Not only did he get murdered in Malcolm X, which was a historical thing, so we needed to see that. But almost 10 years later, he gets killed, execution style, after getting shot in the behind. Mm -hmm. So see, we, we would think that this was, it, that's just one movie, but Martin Lawrence got shot in the behind in, in the, um, Bad Boys too. Mm -hmm. And this is when the conspiracy come in, because the, the veteran actor, uh, Fred Williamson, says that I never get killed in the movie, and I always go home with the woman. Mm -hmm. Which is right. That's exactly what John Wayne does, Clint Eastwood does, mm -hmm. and James Bond. You always go home with the woman because that cements your maleness. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Always go home with the woman and I never die in a movie. So when he got up on the set for Starsky and Hutch, the new Starsky and Hutch in 2003 or 2002 when they was making it because it came out in 2003, he said, they told him, yo, He's supposed to be the boss of Starsky and Hutch, you know, the boss that chews out the reckless cops. He said, they told him, uh, yo, you got to get shot in the behind. He said, I ain't getting shot in no behind. Fred Williams, a veteran actor. He said, no, I, I, I'm not doing it. He said, he said I, I, I'm not doing it. Um, he said, I, I put my children through school. I don't need it. So then they came back, just like they did with, with, with Dave Chappelle. They came back a few minutes later with another script. Mm -hmm. Already ready. Already ready. Mm -hmm. You see, this is, this, is, this is a ritual of an attack. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That they do on us. We got to understand the attack is coming from multiple levels. But now we know that it's a direct attack on melanin mm -hmm. to dehumanize you and to put you at a subordinate position. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Oh, and, 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 but in other words, when it comes to the male to effeminize him. Right. You see what I'm saying? The other thing I want to say is too now, there's nothing wrong with fat black women. Oh, no question. You see what I'm saying? She's the, the, she's the only a, a person in the race can get accepted and get many men. You see what I'm saying? We say she's fat, but she got a cute face. Mm -hmm. okay. but, and, and some of them got pretty feet. Pretty feet and some of them are real sexy. Right. A lot of them are sexy, but that's not the point here now, but you got to understand, we're not talking about Hollywood versus fat. Right. What we're talking about here is a system and a ritual. Now, let me give you an example. And of a stereotype. About. Stereotype. Mm -hmm. Now, we know in the 1990s, they had tons of black women in, in the movies. They... Uh, Angela Bassett, mm -hmm. Leela Rashawn, mm -hmm. they, had a, they, they had one of the girls that played Girl 6, can't think of that girl's name, um, the girls that played with uh, Spike Lee, Teresa Randall, mm -hmm. they think that she's gone, mm -hmm. they had a bunch of, of them, now, that's good, and then you can put the head of sex sisters in there, but it's one thing when Hollywood says, no more the only people that's going to get the job is the head of set sisters. So all of a sudden, no acting uh, uh, Queen Latifah yeah. becomes the standard. And Monique. And Monique mm -hmm. pulling out movies. Mm -hmm. And the point I'm trying to make here is, and I'm not trying to, 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 to push them aside, but what I'm, I'm trying to say here is, is something when those are the only ones that can get roles because we're talking about a ritual that goes all the way back to Hattie McDaniel who was the first person to win, the first black person to win the Academy Award. Mm -hmm. You got to understand how this thing goes here. And the reason why he is, it is, it, it, it is imperative that they don't show the black woman's sexuality in the standard of what the, the equals the white woman. And something based on the melanin now, psychologically, they, these images, there's a reason, because remember how I just started out saying there's a, a, there's a standard of beauty that you got to get to? And even if you're fat, you got to, you got to be beautiful, cause, because I've seen, um, um, I've seen Queen Latifah turn into a fox on the last couple of movies. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But the point I'm trying to make here is, when it comes to the standard of beauty, which is in Hollywood, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? Against the Julia Roberts, against the 
You see what I'm saying? All these uh, Charlize Star and Darren, mm -hmm. um, Jody Foster, you know, all these particular people that are the standard of beauty, they're saying that the black woman cannot equal that. Mm -hmm. You see, and you got to understand this stuff because it's a warfare going on. You understand what I'm saying? And this warfare has devastated the black community for the simple fact that that's why your man don't choose you now because he's psychologically getting some stuff from images from Hollywood and you're not a part of that lineup. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're not a part of that lineup. And that's why they put fat on it. And they got the, the, the little show Girlfriends. And they and also, these are beautiful black women, but it's on UPN, which is a station that really nobody really watched. It was one of those black stations. Basically, UPN tried to come out because if UPN and Warner Brothers came out at the same time, Warner Brothers said that we're going to another level. And the first thing they do, they use the black people to, to fund when they, when, they, when they first come out of people that, 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 and the public is not used to them. They use, they put a lot of black uh, uh, black shows on because they know that they can get the ratings and they can get the money or whatever until the, the, uh, uh, until the, the actual um, station or the actual company is secure and fortified. Then what they do is they start weeding out the black shows and getting white shows. Now, UPN is getting ready to join with Warner Brothers. They're coming together and merging together as one company. But the thing about it is Warner Brothers has already become a little bit white. And so you had the little girlfriends thing where you see the, the, the cute black girls on there, but it was UPN, and that was that was not considered a mainstream as far as it, although it was national, it wasn't on the same level as the ABC, NBC, CBS, mm -hmm. and in cable, HBO, or whatever. So my point here is, is we got to look at these things here on the image. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? What is still going on here? Mm -hmm. Because this is also a psychological attack, and now is what Richard King and them saying it, it, it affects the melody. Why not? Now let's look at this because now we we, we doing different studies on East India based on the god Ganesha, or Ganesh. Ganesh. Ganesh is an elephant, and anybody know they said the elephant's memory is impeccable. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It never forgets. Well, in so many words, before we messed up on drugs, or uh, we messed up on certain just, just bad self-esteem and this low level of living, we had memories that's impeccable. How do you think the comedian yeah, you hear that? You hear that right there? You hear that? You hear that right there? I said, I said, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, man. It's, it's been, it's been going on all his life, but, 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 but you gotta, but I'm, I'm, that's the way the show business, right? Why is it that Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, uh, uh Sean Penn, Steven Seagal, and all the rest of them, they ain't wearing no dresses? And Sean Conn, Van Dam, and all the rest of them. They ain't wearing no dresses. But why is it always the brothers wearing dresses? I, I never understand that. To me, it's, a little, it, it's just like a homosexual, homosexual ritual. That's what it is, a homosexual ritual in, in the behind a, a Hollywood business. And I, it made me want to say fuck Hollywood because Hollywood is wrong for that, man. But our people, we, we, we took the downfall on that. You got some un 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 uh, cooning, uh, 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 Apophonin, Apophonin ass my folks, man, down with this stuff. Now they got Tyler Perry got a new movie called Temptation. I don't think I'm going to see it because I get tired of seeing this image that black men and black women, they hold against each other. And black women will never get it and black men damn sure don't get it. This is a part of the agenda. Take it as it is what it is. And what it does. But I'm going to play another video for y'all. And he's going to explain why this stuff is going on. I know this is y'all saw part one. But this is going to be part two. Y'all going to watch part two. Stay right on tune. Because it's going to be part two. And it's going to be another video for y'all. But I'm going to. Alright. So I hope you listen up. in Chicago to see how the black audience would take it. Mm -hmm. He said it was an older woman in the crowd um, sitting near the front. And the older woman said, oh, Lord, when he was running, and I think he was running from the cops or running from, you know, I'm running. He did a lot of running in the movie. Mm -hmm. And the older woman said, oh, Lord, please don't kill him. Because up to then, then she'd been seeing a couple of black people getting killed in movies. Even Sidney Poitier got killed in a movie 
when a guy stabbed him in the back with a with a fishing hook mm. in the 1950s, a black and white movie. Okay. And the point I'm trying to make here is we got to put a stop to, well, I know it's not going to happen, but we need to choose not to watch movies where we die all the time. Because, like Richard King is saying, if the, if, you, if, if, if the melanin is affected by the fear, then that stuff is going in into our psyche and into our melanated brain. Now, let me give you an example now, because like I said, in the first one, I saw Enter the Dragon, and I knew this was a, 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 a Enter the Dragon, and it came out later. Enter the Dragon came out Paul 73. And I, I thought it affected me because I was, I was a little younger when the movie came out. Mm -hmm. But I saw the movie again when I was 30. Okay. And I still was affected by the killing of Jim Kelly. Not only did they kill him, they, 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 they put the brother's death on the movie poster, and that movie poster is shown to this day when you pick up the video or the DVD. Mm -hmm. The point I'm trying to make here is these things are attacks. An attack a lot of times don't necessarily have to be the tank to rolling down the street. An attack can be psychological. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, it can be psychological. Let me give you another example. How I was affected the same way in 1990 when Spike Lee came out with Mo Better Blues. Mm -hmm. I love the character. I love Denzel character. I love the, the, the jazz artist. I was glad that they put a film together about jazz artists because we've been rich in history with that. Mm -hmm. I like the I, I like the whole I like the whole setup. But whenever he made the decision for the guy to take the horn and hit him in the face and destroy his and, and, and mess his lip up right. and destroy his career, the next morning I woke up and I saw the movie, I was affected by it and stuff. I said, you know what, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And I said, we shouldn't take these blue blueprints from Europeans who love to see that kind of tragedy. Because mm -hmm. we got to understand something here. These are our heroes. Right. And our heroes, our hey rules, should have, you see, they shouldn't be damaged on that particular level. And especially when the European is doing it to us. Like I said, every sci-fi movie, you know what I'm saying? And every, every time we look up, they, they, they cast black members in these movies to get killed. Mm -hmm. You see? And, and so my point here is, we got to choose now to stop going to these movies. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where they get killed. The other thing here is, is this whole, uh, got to wear the dress. The black actor got to somehow wear the dress. Mm -hmm. Now, or, 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 or play some kind of feminine right. role. Now, feminine character. It's like, now, give, me, give me an example. And this ain't got nothing to do mm -hmm. with no gay community because I'm going to tell you something. The white gay community is in on it too. Because hell, that's all doggone Hollywood is. It's white gay community. But whenever they want to, see, it's interesting how they do things. Whenever they want to push the envelope, they'll get a black person to do it. Mm -hmm. So soon as Dennis Rodman put on the dress, he got a, t he got a TV show right. back in the 90s. And soon as we knew about a RuPaul, next thing we know, this brother got his TV show. Mm -hmm. And we got several people can't get a TV show. We got the black woman that's, that's forced out of Hollywood now. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They got the TV show. Now, let me give you an example of what happened here. As we know, that Dave Chappelle came on Oprah, and he talked about uh, he talked about um, how he had heard this conspiracy on how they had to wear the dress, and how he went on a movie set with Martin Lawrence, and he was in, appearing in a movie with Martin Lawrence, and um, he got in the trailer and they had a dress hanging up. And he said, you know, what, 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 I, I, why I got to wear this dress? He said, I've heard about these stories about, you know, why I got, you know, about black, the black actors in order to, to, to cement your place in Hollywood. You got to do something, either something derogatory or something about getting killed. You wear the dress and basically getting shot in the behind. That's the other one. <laughs> but he said, why I got to wear the dress? So he said... I'm not wearing it. And, they, and, the, and, and the director said, no, you got to do this and all. We paid a lot of money for the scene, blah, blah, blah. He said, I'm not, he said it went on about 15 minutes. He said, and the, and the producer came in and they went on. He said, I ain't wearing the dress. He said, in 15 minutes, they walked out and came back 15 minutes later with another script. It was almost like they said they already they had a script that was written already where you didn't have to wear the dress. But they put this in here, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a, as a thing that they do to black people. Right. Because a lot of time when they make these movies, a lot of times these movies are written for white people, and then they figure based on the demographics,
times they can make more money by getting that black element in because they figured it would fail to go to video with some white if it's not strong enough for the white artist. So they put the black people in and it's a million dollar movie. Right. I mean a million a million people sell a uh, make up so many millions on the first weekend. You see what I'm saying? Now, the key here is I got a call from a brother Shabazz in New York two or three days after it aired on Oprah. A new rush. A new rush. And he told me, he said, remember, we had did a, a, a lecture in New York. I had done a lecture in Brooklyn in um, the summer of 2000. You hear that? You hear that, fellas? You hear that? And you can't tell me there's nothing wrong with that. Nobody can't tell me there's something wrong with that. But I'm going to tell you like this. Me, I'm not going to wear no goddamn dress. I don't care how much I want to be in Hollywood so bad. And I'm going to tell you something else. To me, I don't think it's not right. I don't think it's not right for anybody to 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 wear something. And, and y'all can't tell me there's something wrong with that. Y'all cannot tell me there's something wrong with that. And to me, I think it's wrong. As much as I look at black, uh, 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 Hollywood movies all my life, there's something wrong with that. I, 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 am, I am really serious. There is something wrong with that. And to me, I just don't think it's not right. It's not right that 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 you got these these movies. And, and, and you notice up, it, it still affected me as a little boy. And to this day, it still affect me. It still affect me. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, all the movies that I look at, I look at comedy. I look at action. I look at romance, families. I look at all the stuff that's, that's certain, certain, uh, 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 um, certain, uh, L, certain, certain movies and certain the things you watch. But you got to be careful what movies you're watching nowadays because to me, myself now i love black movies but one thing that i say about my people we talk about the same certain sub subject we don't talk about different subjects you know especially of black women black women need to look at this too why they always play black women being the maid or being a single mother by choice or sleeping with a white guy they look at black women over 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 and and, and over over ex uh, they call us uh, black women un unsexually exile. Mean they nobody don't want them, and it's sad. It's sad because otherwise, if if if, if women is, uh, I think they're not undesirable. They are sexually undesirable of women. If they're not, too many s s s women of color trying to imitate our women. But I'm gonna tell you like this, man. I'm I'm getting tired of Hollywood because to me, I just chose not to watch Hollywood. I would probably watch independent films. Some of you films you ain't never been seen in a movie fear. Now they got this new movie called Jackie Robinson. It's going to come out real soon. I don't think I'm going to see that one. Because they, they keep showing the same damn thing. They keep, they keep showing it. I'm going to tell you what their biggest fear is. They don't want to see a black man being in a leading role movie hit box office movies. That's what I think. And same thing, black women. That same about uh, about uh, Denzel Washington. The only thing he got a war because he got shot in the ass on train day. If you notice that, and Holly Berry, the reason why she got a golden Oscar because she slept with a white guy. Tell me, tell tell me if I'm wrong on this. And you got to play the stereotype. I'm not gonna do it. When when we gonna see a movie of black men being a hero, kicking ass and fight killer, dropping bombs? Uh, setting on bombs they they will never show nothing like that white people be scared to death white hollywood is exactly how they fuck them they they will never put that out and even in and, and, and black hollywood fuck them too they're another one they, they they're hypocrites i look at movies for years and you mean to tell me i gotta wear a dress let's say if i wear a dress i can get my own tv show and get my own hollywood production no, that's not right. But if I don't wear the, the address or nothing like that and get shot in the ass or die in a horror movie, I become a threat. No, 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 no. There is something wrong with that. But if, if people want to be in sell it out and be in bought, that's them. But I ain't out, out sell out for nothing. I oversell me. I'm, I, I'm not for sale. I'm not. I make it my own way. I go to a a, a Sundance a, a movie festival and run my own a movie company. It it be some, but see, it's sad. That's why they can't stand Spike Lee. Spike Lee direct his own movies. He put his own money in there. That's why they can't stand. It. And Quentin Benetino, come on, 
Some people say Spike Lee just jealous Quentin Benetino got a hit movie. Spike Lee got a hit movie way before Quentin Benetino did. A lot of people don't know Quentin Benetino been said a lot of shit over the years. Look at that movie Pulp Fiction and that scene uh, 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 Vinnie Reigns got fucked in the ass by a blue collar white cop. Look at that fucking movie and you can't tell me there's something wrong with that one. No, I refuse to do it. No, 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 no. When are we going to say enough is enough? I'm going to calm down for these nosy-ass neighbors. But what we're going to say is enough is enough. I don't know about you, man. We need to w wake up and look at the big picture instead of the, at the, st st instead of the small picture. And, and because, you know, the show got to go on and the show need to be end of this cancel. All right? People, know where you stand and know where you're going and make some change here from there. All right? All right. And it's your boy, Domination. This is back in the basic chunk of the deuces. How we do it takes a baby. Until next time. All right? All right, peace, and I'm out.